Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So now we are going to discuss um, tutorial 6.2 question number 12. Okay. The equilibrium constant Kc for the formation of nitrosyl chloride and orange yellow compound is 6.5 exponent 4 at 35 degrees Celsius. Okay, uh, the equation is given in an experiment 2.0 times 10 to the power of negative 2 mole of NO. Okay, 8.3 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole of Cl2 and 6.8 mole of NOCl are mixed in 2 liter container. Okay, in which direction will the reaction proceed to reach equilibrium? Okay, so the question asks you about the direction. So to answer the que this question, the answer should be a shift forward or backward or shift from right to left or shift from left to right. Okay, either forward or backward. Okay, right to left means backward reaction and left to right is forward reaction. Okay, this is forward, um, left to right and this is backward. Okay, uh, right to left. Okay, so... Um, to identify the direction, either forward or backward, we need to calculate the Q, which is reaction caution. Reaction caution. Q. Okay, in this case, QC, because we have the number of mole um, initial for all species. Okay, this mole are mole not in equilibrium. Okay, number of mole of all species uh, which is not in equilibrium. Okay, so we need to calculate the reaction quotient to compare the reaction quotient to the Kc given. Okay, we have the Kc value here. So we need to compare this value, reaction quotient Q to the value of Kc. Okay, if you look at here, this is your lecture note. Okay, so the reaction quotient, the um, expression for reaction quotient is same. Okay, exactly like the um, expression for Kc. Okay, we use the concentration of product okay, over the concentration of reactant. Okay, the difference is the concentration that we use in reaction quotient or Q is non-equilibrium. Okay, concentration at non-equilibrium. Okay, the reaction quotient is used to predict the direction of the reaction by comparing the Q to the uh, K, okay, Kc. So, we have three possible cases. Okay, if the Q is bigger than Kc, okay, the system will proceed from right to left. Okay, that means it will go backward. Okay, why? Because um, when the Q is bigger than K, okay, uh, the reaction okay for okay for reaction uh, quotient um, the concentration uh, product over concentration of reactant so when we have large value of Q that means the concentration of product is high okay we have uh the ratio of initial concentration of products to reactant is too large. Okay, we have more product. Okay, that's why we have the larger value of Q. So, more product in order to reach the equilibrium, we need to use the product 
and the equilibrium will shift backward okay we have more product so equilibrium system will shift backward in order to use the product and um, form the reactant okay to reach the equilibrium okay if the q is equal to kc that means uh, the system is already at equilibrium okay and if the q is less than kc okay that means we have more reactant okay q go down over reactant okay because the value of q is very small that means the concentration of reactant is high okay so um in order to reach equilibrium okay we have more reactant so we need to use the reactant in order to achieve the equilibrium and produce more product so the system will proceed from left to right or it will shift forward okay you can use um, the term forward backward or left to right or right to left okay back to the equation Okay, so we have the reaction quotient, the concentration of a uh, product over reactant, and substitute the concentration, uh, concentration not in equilibrium. Okay, the number of mole divided by the volume. Okay, we get the reaction quotient two point eight uh, times ten to the power of seven. Okay, so compare with the Kc given. Kc is six point five. Uh, times 10 to the power of 4 so we have a q qc a bigger than kc okay so since a uh, qc is bigger than kc so we have more product okay in the system uh, in order to reach the equilibrium the reaction will shift from right to left okay from the product side to the reactant side so it will shift from right to left or it will shift backward okay you can use either one okay so this is for question number 12 thank you